सो द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक वी आर डिस्कसिंग हेयर इज बोट्स एंड स्ट्रीम्स बोट्स एंड स्ट्रीम्स सो इट इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एज वी एक्सपेक्ट सम क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक सो बोट्स एंड स्ट्रीम्स जनरली द क्वेश्चन इन दिस टॉपिक इज द करंट रेट एंड स्पीड इन स्टील वाटर विल बी गिवेन वेर वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द डाउन स्ट्रीम स्पीड इफ नॉट अप स्ट्रीम स्पीड अदरवाइज डाउन स्ट्रीम स्पीड एंड अप स्ट्रीम स्पीड विल बी गिवेन एंड वी वॉन्ट द करंट रेट इफ नॉट करंट रेट एंड अप स्ट्रीम स्पीड विल बी गिवेन नाउ वी मे एक्सपेक्ट डाउन स्ट्रीम स्पीड और स्पीड इन स्टील वाटर सो लाइक दैट देर विल बी सम क्वेश्चन here this topic is all about understanding the definitions of four different speeds so when you understand those four different speeds you can answer easily now let's see what about those four different speeds and what is the definition of that so the first one is here speed in still water so here let us take gear link so the first speed is speed in still water so what do you mean by speed in still water suppose let me take a lake so a lake we are having and we know that in a lake the water is not flowing so it is the constant water so without any speed we can expect here water now in this type of water when the boat is going so there is no effect of water on the boat so whatever the speed the boat is having in this case that is the actual speed of boat or the original speed of boat suppose if i take 10 kilometers per hour in this case that 10 kilometers per hour is the speed of the boat originally and there is no effect of water on the boat in this case so that type of speed that means the speed of the boat in still water still water means constant it's not flowing so which is called as speed in still water and now i am going to denote this value by a so a denotes speed in still water so we can consider this as speed of still water if the man is rowing there so we can consider it as a speed of the man in still water next current rate or we can take it as rate of current or river speed or stream rates stream speed whatever it is now what do you mean by that suppose when we are having a river so it is flowing from a point a to b now this water is having so here the water is flowing from a point to another point so in this case the water is having some speed suppose it is having 3 kilometers per hour speed so that is called as current rate so i am taking b to represent so simply here what i am saying is the speed of the water which is flowing from one point to another point the river speed simply the speed of the river or the water or the current is taken as a current rate or rate of current now the next one is downstream speed so downstream speed so what do you mean by downstream speed suppose if i take the same boat which was covering 10 kilometers per hour in this case i cannot expect the same speed for the boat when it's going along the river along the river means in the same speed in the same direction of river or the water now in this case for the boat we can expect some speed that is greater than 
10 so definitely we can expect greater than 10 so the value whatever we are having here which is greater than 10 is called as downstream speed so simply how we can define is the speed of the boat or man along the river or along the stream or along the current so simply it is the speed of the man or boat when it's going in the same direction of the river so the speed of the boat along the river or in the same direction of the river so here i will consider it as x which is equals to now how much value we can expect for this boat in this case definitely we can expect as 10 plus 3 because water is going at 3 and it can cover 10 so totally it is 13 so this 13 is called as downstream speed here 10 plus 3 we are saying 10 is simply speed in still water and 3 is current rate that's why x is equals to a plus b so this is the relation what we are having and the next one is upstream speed now what do you mean by upstream speed suppose if i take the same boat in the opposite direction when we are going in the same boat in opposite direction so this time definitely we cannot expect the same 10 kilometers per hour speed for the boat or even we cannot expect here more than 10 kilometers per hour because the water is forcing the boat to go back that's why the speed of the boat will be decreased so that decreased speed is called as downstream speed so downstream speed is nothing but here the speed of the boat when the boat is going against the river or in the opposite direction of the river simply the speed of the boat in the opposite direction of the river is called as a down here upstream speed now how much value we can expect for this boat simply it is 10 minus 3 because the river is in the opposite direction we are having so 10 minus 3 which is 7 so what do you mean by 10 minus 3 simply speed in still water minus current rate so if i take this value as y so y is equals to a minus b so this is the relation so these are the four speeds what we are having here so once you understand these four definitions it is very easy to solve any question from this topic now once again let's see speed in still water is simply the speed when we are here going in the still water constant which is not flowing now current rate means simply the speed of the water or the river which is flowing from a point to another now downstream speed means simply when the boat or the man is going along the river or in the same direction of the river then the speed is considered as downstream speed which is increased now the upstream speed is nothing but the speed of the man or boat when they are going in the opposite direction so or against the river so in this case we can consider it as a y or x and the relation between these variables are given by x equals to a plus b and y equals to a minus b where a is equals to here speed in still water and b is current rate now let's see how the questions will be given and how we can get the required answer suppose if the question is a boat can cover can cover 8 kilometers per hour in still water and current rate is 5 kilometers per hour so find downstream speed so the question is a boat can cover 8 kilometers per hour in still water and the current rate is here 5 kilometers per hour and we want downstream speed now what do you mean by downstream speed so downstream speed we considered it as x which is equals to a plus b we discussed so what do you mean by a plus b 
simply a is speed in still water and b is current rate so now x is equals to a value which is given as 8 kilometers per hour plus here it is 5 kilometers per hour so totally 13 kilometers per hour so downstream speed is nothing but 13 kilometers per hour that means whenever the boat is going along the river it should have 13 kilometers per hour speed suppose if i ask downstream speed that is a minus b we can find out the value by 8 minus 5 which is 3 kilometers per hour speed so this is how we can calculate whether it is a downstream speed or upstream speed. Now, instead of asking downstream speed and upstream speeds by giving the, the speed in still water and the current rate directly, sometimes the value will be given indirectly in terms of distance and time. That means a boat can cover 24 kilometers in 6 hours in still water and and current rate is current rate is 3 kilometers per hour fine upstream speed so this is the question a boat can cover 24 kilometers in 6 hours in still water and current rate is 3 kilometers per hour find upstream speed now actually if you look at the given values so the boat can cover 24 kilometers in 6 hours while it is in still water so it is in still water so now it is the distance and it is the time and we want the speed where speed is equals to distance by time that is 24 by 6 so from this we are getting 4 kilometers per hour as the speed but what it is we are calculating the speed in still water so it is nothing but simply a and the current rate is given as here 3 kilometers per hour so b is 3 kilometers per hour and a value we got as a 4 kilometers per hour now i want upstream speed so upstream speed is equals to we considered it as y which is a minus b so it is 4 minus 3 which is 1 kilometer per hour so this is how i can calculate the upstream value by giving the distance and time in still water previously it was speed directly given in still water but in this case i am not giving the speed in still water directly but i am giving the distance covered by the boat and the duration taken so that we can calculate the speed both are same but the only one difference is here we must calculate the speed because it is not given directly so once you calculate the speed it will be the same whatever you want now instead of asking simply the speed or here downstream speed or upstream speed whatever it is I may ask the question like how much time will be taken by the boat to cover 10 kilometers upstream so now my question is what is the time taken by the boat to cover 10 kilometers upstream so here the boat has to cover 10 kilometers upstream for that I want time so time is nothing but simply distance by here speed we know that distance is given as 10 kilometers by speed a speed upstream speed what we want upstream speed already we calculated so it is one that's why it will be taking here 
10 hours to cover 10 kilometers so in this way whenever they are asking to calculate time to cover a certain distance they will give you the distance and you should find out the speed so first we should calculate the speed where we can substitute here in this formula to get the time so whether they are asking time or speed first we should calculate the speed if they are asking speed that is the value whenever they ask the time we can calculate by taking the formula of distance by here speed now now let's take opposite of this that is so in all these cases what we have seen is speed in still water given and current rate given and they are asking downstream speed and upstream speed now let's take the other question so downstream speed of a boat is 6 kilometers per hour and upstream speed is 2 kilometers per hour now find current rate so down speed of a boat is given as 6 kilometers and upstream speed is given as 2 kilometers per hour now we want current rate now so downstream speed which is here x which is given as 6 kilometers per hour and y stream or here upstream speed which is y which is given as 2 kilometers per hour and we want current rate that is b now how we can calculate this b value now let's see we know that x is equals to a plus b and y is equals to a minus b so here when you add these two x plus y is equals to 2a and from this a is equals to x plus y by 2 so it is the formula what we can use to find out speed in still water whenever here up, downstream speed and upstream speeds are given you can use but here current rate so whenever you want current rate here when you subtract these two you will get the b value if not when you substitute this you will get the b value as x minus y by 2 so this is a formula to calculate current rate when upstream speed and downstream speeds are given so b is equals to x value 6 minus upstream 2 by here 2 so it is 4 by 2 which means 2 kilometers per hour is the current rate so in this way we can find out the current rate by taking the formula here x minus y by 2 suppose if you are unaware of these two formulas what you can do is you know that x is equal to a plus b simply you can take a plus b is equal to 6 and a minus b is equal to 2 now solve so whenever you want b you can solve these two and you will get the same answer as 2 kilometers per hour so in this way you can take those two equations if you are not aware of these two formulas if you are having that in your mind directly you can use so now it depends upon you if you remember you can substitute here directly if not you can take the equations and solve because the process is same so, so you will get the same answer now same kind of question but they will give you in different way let me give you a question how they will ask suppose speed of a boat speed of a boat along the river is 12 kilometers per hour and against the river is 8 kilometers per hour then what is the speed in still water 
so instead of saying downstream speed and upstream speed the same values are given in other terms so here what i am saying is speed of the boat along the river and speed of the boat against the river so along the river means in the same direction so in the same direction of the river we know that the speed is considered as a downstream speed so downstream speed is nothing but x and here against the river means it is upstream speed so upstream speed is nothing but here y so x values y values are given as x is equals to here 12 this is the value and it is 8 so 12 kilometers per hour and y is here 8 kilometers per hour i want the speed in still water means the value what i am asking is a we know that a is equals to x plus y by 2 so you can substitute 12 plus 8 by 2 where you are getting 10 kilometers per hour so in this way you can find the speed in still water whenever the speed along the river or against the river so like that is given so you can find out if you remember this formula as i said if you don't remember this the other way like x or downstream speed is simply sum of those two so a plus b is equals to 12 and here a minus b difference of those two 8 now you can take the equation and you will get the answer if you don't remember this use this if not you can substitute so like that instead of saying downstream speed and upstream speed they will mention like this now suppose if the question is given as current rate current rate is 3 kilometers per hour and upstream speed is 11 kilometers per hour now find downstream speed and speed in still water now if you understand the given information so what they are giving here is current rate which means b value is given as 3 kilometers per hour and upstream speed that means y value is given as 11 kilometers per hour now downstream speed i want x value i want and speed in still water that is a so here how i can solve actually whenever we know a and b values we can substitute here in the formula of a plus b to get x a minus b to get y we know those two formulas as x equals to a plus b and y equals to a minus b so these are the two formulas we know earlier to find downstream or upstream but here a b values are not given and the other case what we have done is we have find so a b values whenever x y values are given by using a equals to x plus y by 2 and b is equals to x minus y by 2 but here x y values are not given so what happened here is one value from the first set a b and the other value from the second set x y is given so even though we are having two different kind of values we can find here so the relation what we are having between these variables suppose if i consider the first value i want x b and y values are given so we want x b and y are given and i am asking x the relation between these three variables is equals to b is equals to x minus y by 2 and when you substitute the given values b value you know as 3 is equals to x value what we need to calculate and y value is given as 11 by 2 so from this 6 is equals to x minus 11 and x is equals to here 17 suppose if i want a now when you consider the given variables b y given and we are asking for a the relation between these three variables from those four is known as here y is equals to here a minus b and you know y value as 11 a value we need to find out and b value is 3 so from this a is equals to 14 so in this way you can calculate the required values by using the same variables 
whether I'm giving a b and asking x y or x y given a b asking or any one of a b and x y is given and we want the other values so whatever it is we are using the same relations suppose if you don't remember these formulas simply the same way you know that x is equals to a plus b and y is equals to a minus b so you can use that and from that you can find out whatever you want so this is how we can find when these type of values are given now let me take when the speed is not given directly so how we can find sometimes here the question will be given as a boat can cover 48 kilometers by taking 4 hours a boat can cover 48 kilometers by taking 4 hours here along the river along the river and and it takes it takes 6 hours to cover same distance same distance in still water in still water now how much time it will take it will take to cover same distance same distance against the river against the river so the question is very simple the boat is taking 4 hours to cover 48 kilometers along the river and it takes 6 hours to cover the same distance in still water now what is the time taken by the boat to cover the same distance against the river now from the given statement so what we can understand here is 48 kilometers here in 4 hours along the river so here what i am saying is along the river along the river 48 kilometers in 4 hours we know that speed is equals to speed is equals to distance by time and along the river i am saying so along the river the speed is equals to simply downstream speed downstream speed which is x is equals to here distance 48 by time 4 kilometers per hour that is x is simply 12 kilometers per hour next point 6 hours to cover same distance in still water that means in still water still water is taking here 6 hours to cover same so in still water the speed is called as a speed in still water that is 48 by 6 which is 8 kilometers per hour now the question is what is the time taken by the boat to cover the same distance here same distance against the river so against the river against the river we are having upstream speed upstream speed that is y first we want let us find y now when you consider these two x value and y value or uh, uh, x value and a value is given and we want y the related formula what we can use here is simply a is equals to x plus y by 2 so now from this a value is given as 8 is equals to x value we know 12 plus y by 2 so from this 16 is equals to 12 plus y and y is equals to 4 when you know y now you can calculate the required value that is to cover 48 kilometers 
here again as the river so let us find out this value so here how i can find is again as we want to cover 48 kilometers so that time is equals to distance 48 by speed we calculated as 4 so that's why it will take 12 hours so it is taking 12 hours to cover the same distance so here what happens is first we should calculate the speed that is upstream speed because i'm saying against the river against the river is upstream speed so when we know that we can find out the time taken by this in order to cover that particular distance whatever they are asking whether it is same distance whether it is 60 whether it is any other distance we can find out so in this way you can calculate whether the speed is directly given or indirectly given so here what happened is the speed is not given directly but we calculated the speeds that's what and the distance and the times are given in order to find the time and now they are uh, in order to find the speed and finally they are asking time to cover the distance so when we know the speed we can take the time as distance by speed so this is how uh, we can calculate the required values now let us take the next situation suppose there is a river it is going from a point a to b so like this the water or the river is going in the direction a to b now when we are having a boat here a boat is going to a point suppose p so it is going to the point p and then return to the starting so it is going to the point p and then return to go to that point and return definitely it will take some time and while going it's having a different speed than while coming the speed so when it's going we know that it is going along the river so it is having downstream speed and when it's coming back definitely it's having here upstream speed now to go to that point and come back what is the speed we will expect here in this case which is the overall speed or we can take it as average speed so average speed of the boat in covering a certain distance and to reach the starting to go to a point and then return the average speed actually we discuss average speed in time and distance and we know the formula as 2s1 s2 by s1 plus s2 where the distance is same even in this case the distance is same it's going from this point to this and then return from that point to the starting so in this way we can expect the same distance so the boat is